one of these Good Morty comics is real, and one of these Good Morty comics is fake. Which one is it? I'm going to teach you how to find out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and today I'm going to help people to be able to figure out which one of these comics is real and which one is fake, because unfortunately, thanks to uh, dishonest people in this world that are filled with nothing but greed, there are copies of the original that are all over the place, and they look very similar and it makes it very difficult for people to spot them. So difficult, none of the grading companies will even touch these at the moment. So I'm going to show you the differences so you can tell. Because believe it or not, there are actually three different versions that are out there. One of these three is real. Now I'm going to be returning the other two. But before I did, I wanted to make this video... So this way I can hopefully help somebody so they do not get misled because I want to make this clear. Not everybody that's selling on eBay is being deceitful. Some people just may not know. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with before we even get to the comics is we're going to show you the, the Blu-ray. Now there's also the uh, DVDs that had it as well. But I don't have one of those, so I apologize. But this was only in the first set, Season 1 first print of the Blu-rays. Now, there are a lot of facsimiles out there. People have basically been uh, using burnable Blu-rays and making fake copies. So this is one of the real Blu-rays. Now, this is where you have to be careful because people are selling these open Blu-rays and putting fake comics in there. So how can you tell the difference? But first, like I said... I want to show you the Blu-ray disc, the case. Now, this, as you can see, is the official Blu-ray disc case. A lot of the fakes are going around with just an ordinary case that you could buy, which is clear. So if you have a clear one, that's a real good indication right off the bat. Now, here's another thing you're going to find. This is something that's very important if you want the original Blu-ray. Now, it's going to have... This what is a recyclable little 3D cutout here. The, the bad ones that people are making copies of do not have this at all. Also, when you take this disc out, first of all, the copied ones are going to be a little bit duller in color. So you can see the real Blu-ray has a very distinct color. The other will seem faded because it's a printout. Now, on the back of here... If it's completely black, or even if the edge all the way around is black, well, those are copies. Those are not the original. Now, it's going to be hard to see with this. Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But there are actually numbers here that you can verify. Now, that's all well and good, provided this has never been opened. Now, the way you can tell... If it's never been opened, it's in an original, and unfortunately I don't have that because I bought this opened. Um, it would ha actually, of course, have the cellophane, but there would be like a, a gold kind of sticker here that said free comic inside. So if it doesn't have that, well, it's not going to be the original because not every set had them. So a lot of people may have had the original Blu-ray like this one, but already opened they were putting fake ones in here and selling them as authentic. So that's first off just in the Blu-ray. Now, how do you tell the difference between the comics? Now, the first one I'm going to tell you right off the bat, if it has two staples, it is one of the fakes. Now, here's the problem. Once people that try and be dishonest catch on to what they might have done wrong they try and make it even closer to the original. So here is another fake that has only one staple. Or is it the... I'm sorry. This one has the two staples, and this is the other one, the newest version of the fake, that has the one staple. So the original copies... Well, the original comics had one staple. So if it has two staples, 
that is a fake. And unless somebody shows you a video where they are unwrapping an original Blu-ray and they show a two staple, that's going to be something that everybody agrees on. Because I've seen unboxings where they had back in 2014, 2000, 2015, somebody opening one of the originals up and the ones that I saw only had one staple. So if it has two staples, no one's shown it. So if you have one of those, please make sure you let us know. But there's still other ways to tell. Because as you can see, these both have one staple. Now this one is the genuine comic. This one is a fake. Now you can see this also right here came with the Blu-ray. So you can see there is one with the fake as well. So how do you tell the difference? Now, this is going to be very hard, so hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera. Now, the first thing you're going to look for is the color. I want to try and put this to the light to make it a little bit easier to see, so bear with me for a second. Now, if you notice, first of all, you're going to notice Morty's hair. In the original, it's got a brownish color. In the fake... It's completely black because it's a copy. Now, another thing you'll notice is the skin on his face is a light tan. But if you go to this comic, see how the skin is a little bit darker? Let me try and move this over a little bit. There we go. This way you'll get a better image. Okay, so the one on the left is the real one. See the difference in the color of the skin? The lighter skin is the original. This is a copy, because when you make a copy, they always come out a little bit darker. Now, here's another way you could tell color-wise with the original and the copy. You probably noticed that now that I pointed it out. You see the original, again, much lighter. But here, you see the whole thing is a lot darker. So that is the copy. And you can also see the quality of the paper. That might not pick up on this camera. But the black all in here is very solid. And this paper is a little grainy. So you can kind of tell it is a copy of the book. So you have... The two staple, and again, you see how these are very similar? Even though this one has one staple and this one has two staples. Notice here also, let me slide that over. Notice these have the same color, so let me put the, the original, the real one, next to these two. So you'll be able to see the difference in the tone. So as you can see, the one all the way to the left has a little bit lighter toning of the skin. And these two, even though one has two staples and the other has one, to make it look closer to the original, notice how these are both darker. And again, if you look at this, and I'll spread this out a little bit, you notice the real one is lighter than the other two. So these two that I purchased came with these Blu-rays. They were two Blu-rays. So what people are starting to do, unfortunately, is they have the Season 1 Blu-ray, and it may be the original, but they are putting fakes in there, or at least buying them. So I don't want to assume everybody that's selling them is being dishonest. But they may not be aware of it, because like I said, even the grading companies have had a hard time trying to figure this out. So I want to try and protect people and try and save them their money. Because unfortunately, when there's money involved, there are a lot of dishonest people out there trying to steal your money. The one good thing about eBay is they have buyer protection programs. So I will get my money back on these two, but at least I know I have one of the originals. The good thing about it is... I had a chance to be able to show a video. So now that you see the difference, even just having these laying out, you could see the difference that these two have a darker color to them because of the printing, and this one's lighter. And again, the same with the colored skin of Morty. And also the blackness. Again, 
The blackness here is going to look very solid. And this will look not as grainy as over here. But you can see there's a little bit like it looks like a very good copy. And that's what those are. So I, I hope this helps you. And if you think it does, please share this video so it can help somebody else. And if you're selling these comics and you weren't aware of it, um, unfortunately, sometimes people get burned because there's, unfortunately, dishonest people out there. Um, hopefully, if you bought one of these comics, you bought it within the grace period where eBay or PayPal will, you can dispute it. Because I know eBay only has 30 days, but I believe PayPal has six months. So you can protect yourself. So be careful out there. There's a lot of fake um, Blu-rays going around, so at least you know the difference between the real and the fake ones right off the bat if you get the clear one and it doesn't have all the stuff that I mentioned. That right there is going to tell you it's a, it's a fake. But there are plenty of people, like the ones that I bought, that they're putting the fake ones in here, whether they know it or not. I'm not going to make that decision, you know. Some people just may not know. So don't forget to wait until the end of this video because I always do a surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want to be one of those, uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And uh, the more often you comment, the more likely I'm going to see your name and put you out onto the shout-out. Uh, don't forget I have that contest where you can win a set of these clear uh, backing boards. I have a review, so that was uh, about two weeks ago. I need 100 likes to pick the winner. Right now, we're roughly around the uh, mid-30s range to early 40s range. So please go check that out and uh, check out some of my other videos. So that's it. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you appreciate it. Hopefully it saves you some money and gives you the chance to know if you got something real or somebody's really good-looking fake. So thanks for listening. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. All right, that's the good Morty, but unfortunately, sometimes you get some bad people.